Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Art is an expression of our heart. And in this lesson, we're going to literally do that. Let's paint a heart. I have my materials here. My primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. And then I have black and white. And then I have my paper or canvas and paper towel, a cup with water, a flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to draw a heart. It's pretty simple. Let's first make a dot right here. Not in the middle of the canvas, but a little bit above the center. And then in the center, I would say, right? Like, let's do this. Let's cut it in half and then we'll cut it in half again. Kind of like that, a little bit. And then make a little circle, right? Going through that line, but above the, the very center. It's in the middle, but not in the very center. I hope you can understand that. And then make another um, dot right in the bottom. You see? And make a dot here on the sides, but make sure that they are even. So this one is not even with this. This one is a little bit below. Okay, and this one is all the way in the bottom. And these two are even on the sides. So, it will kind of look like a cross, if you think about it. You see? Now, what we're going to do is go up and then down and touch this, this line. From this dot, go up and down, make a little curve. Like that and do the same on the other side. So we made it across and then dots here at the ends. And now we're going to connect just straight down. Don't curve it anymore. It's just gonna go straight down to the bottom dot. So here's your heart. This one was a little mistake, but here's your heart. You got it? We can actually erase those lines we made in the middle. These were just reference lines. And then just keep the drawing of your heart. There you go. That's all we need. Got it? Okay, now Let's express ourselves. I encourage you to pick the colors that you like. So I'm going to pick, I'm gonna get my biggest brush, wet it a little bit, and I'm going to pick, I like blue, so I'm gonna get blue, and I'm going to start with the background. Let's go wild, let's go crazy. It doesn't have to be one way or another. We're just, going to express ourselves. So I'm gonna get some blue and then white. And I'm just going to go like this. And you know what? I'm gonna start getting a little bit of red and I'm gonna turn it into purple. And here on the strokes, you can go any way you like. We're gonna go funky, very funky make this heart painting almost like a little bit abstract. So just paint the sides. I'm not even going to make it too smooth. I like the texture that's being created. I'm gonna get a little bit more red and I'll probably get some yellow for orange. Maybe this side is gonna be a little more a little warmer. Maybe this could be a representation of my cold heart and my warm heart. Right? Or maybe not. Let's see how it's going to flow. I just want to have fun and express my heart. So I'm getting some yellow and some 
white. See, I like the strokes that I'm kind of creating here. It kind of looks cool. I'm gonna leave it, I'm not gonna over blend it. And I'm actually gonna go side to, up and down on this. Just because I want to. And then here I'm gonna go side to side, up top. It's kind of making some green now because I had some blue on my brush. And it's mixing with the yellow. So I like that, I like to mix the colors on the canvas too, instead of mixing here on the palette, because then the colors start creating new colors as they mix together and blend. See, I'm just having fun with my background. I'll continue on with some blue here, just going around. Just try not to make it too muddy if you like bright colors, try to have the colors blend nicely, mix nicely without too many colors mixed together. If you start having too many colors in your palette in your brush, you clean it. And then you go back with a new color, just so that way it doesn't look too muddy. Bright colors are super fun. Beautiful. So you see, I started here with the blue, just kind of went around with the red and the little purple. And yellow and green. See, I didn't even know it was going that way, but it just turned out to that my expression went that way and I like it. Cool. Let me clean my brush now. Now it's time to paint my heart. I'm gonna paint my heart red because I like red and it represents love and my heart's gonna have a lot of love inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna make it red, but I don't want it to be all red. I'm gonna also make, have fun with it. So I'm going to start getting some white and don't over blend, don't over blend. I'm just making it, just making, leaving some strokes behind, some, blue, some red and some white and then maybe I'll get some yellow as well, yeah. And I'm not going to over blend. I want to make the color stand out. Just kind of place them down and then blend a little bit and then move on. Move along. Okie dokie. I'll probably add a little purple. So I'm gonna make blue and red. Make sure your brush doesn't have too many colors. Remember that, otherwise it's gonna get too muddy. Blue and red, make purple. That was too, I, I want a lighter purple, yeah. Add a little white. Here and there, everywhere. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a little explosion somewhere. I'll probably add a little bit of a white. I'm gonna add some water to my white, not much. 
and I'll create a little explosion. So I'm going to go from the corner here from the edge of the heart and bring it out. Bring it out like this. Oh, it's beating so fast. I'm going to outline it, see, and then I'll pull it out. Pull it out. Outline the heart and then pull it and release the pressure. Align it and pull. I mean, I didn't plan to do the whole heart, but I guess I'm going to have to. No, I don't have to do anything because this is my painting and my expression. So I'm just going to do this one and that's it. I'll skip around a little bit. Yeah. I'll make this one just a tiny bit brighter. And this one too. You want to also, when you're expressing yourself, just make sure that there's a little bit of balance going on in your painting. If you do something on one side, you don't necessarily have to do it on the other, but add something that's going to balance whatever you did on that side. See, I'm adding touches of yellow. I think that'll be cool. And I feel like I need something else. So maybe I can, I'm gonna grab my round brush now and how about a little bit of black outline not much just a little black outline i did it here in the bottom okay i'm gonna add here too and I think I'm gonna make little swirls here and there. Kind of like swirls, I think they're cool, I think they're fun. So I'm not gonna add them everywhere, I'm going to now add some dots because dots are my favorite. So I'll add some yellow dots. Oh, I can't see anything with these yellow dots. Let me add a different color. Maybe some red dots. Yay, yes. Some red dots. Mm-hmm, and maybe just some red dots on my heart here and here. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this brush again and I'll probably, let me see, I think I'm going to get a little bit of white and water together just to go crazy and Fun. I'm going to do a little bit of spat, splattering, see, here and there, in my heart, just for fun. Don't overdo it, just a little bit, just a little bit. Cool. Looks pretty cool. And maybe I'll do some some more blue here and here I like it I'm thinking I think like I'm coming to an end here I can keep going and going but I think 
this is making me happy and satisfied. I'll probably just do one last thing, add a little bit of a, an extra highlight on this side. And that's it. This is my heart expression using the primary colors in black and white. I had fun doing it and my heart is happy. I hope yours is too. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you do. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dottie Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge, on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.